We cannot allow that. We cannot allow you to bring down churches. We cannot allow you. We cannot allow that. Na hujambo na karibu tena mtazamaji wa Jitanda Daily Politics mahali popote ulipo na tumai ubueri wa hafia. Mtazamaji sasa hivi ndiyo wa Kenya wanaendelea kujua William Samoe Ruto ni mtu wa haina gani kwa sababu hapo uh, nyuma watu walikuwa wanadhani kwamba William Samoe Ruto ni mtu ambaye anapenda kwenda kanisani lakini pia ni mtu ambaye anamuongopa Mungu kabisa lakini sasa hivi mambo ambayo yanaendelea kuyafanya yanaendelea kuoneshana wazi kwamba William Samoe Ruto ni mtu wa haina gani. Kuna mambo ambayo yalifanyika jana huko kaundi ya Machakos Mafoko ambapo watu waliweza kubomolewa manyumba lakini pia hata kanisa zikaweza kubomolewa na nataka usikilize uh, gavana wa kaundi ya Machakos akizungumza madam Wafinya Ndeti anazungumza mpaka anataka kutoka machozi hmm? kutokana na file haslas wameweza kubomolewa nyumba lakini pia uh, kutokana na file kanisa simeweza kubomolewa nyumba wewe uka, uh, ukaamini kwamba huyu ni huyu William Samoi Ruto ambaye alikuwa anaomba mpaka anatoka na machozi anaomba mpaka analia wakati wa kampeni lakini kumbe alikuwa ni uh, chui ambaye alikuwa amefalia ngozi ya kondona watu hawakuwa naona unajua ni vigumu sana wa kuelewa mtu wakati alikuwa anaomba mpaka analia watu walikuwa nasema kwamba ni mtu ambaye anampenda Mungu kabisa na ni mtu ambaye hawezi akafanya mambo mabaya lakini sasa hivi naamini kwamba ndio siku so wakati ambapo wa Kenya wamekuja kumjua William Samoe Ruto ni mtu wa haina gani nataka kwanza hata kabla sijaongea sana usikilize gavana wa kaunti ya Machakos akizungumza baada ya William Ruto kubomoa manyumba ama serikali kujombomoa manyumba mba pamoja na kanisa kaundi ya mafoko jana halafu tuendelee why is it that you are doing that to us kama ni kwa kwa mheshimiwa wa Ruto wewe ungekubali hiyo ifanyike we cannot allow that we cannot allow you to bring down churches we cannot allow you We cannot allow that. I want to tell his excellence, you are talking about bottoms up. You talked about taking care of these people who are down here. What is happening now that the same people are the how what the same same people ndio unawaumiza? Why are you doing that? Mimi niliongea na wewe leo asubuhi na ukaniambia vizuri utaangalia. Tukiendelea kuongea hivi watu wetu wamefukuzwa makanisa tano yameangushwa. Shule tatu zimeangushwa. El Nino ndio hiyo. Mtiani ndio hiyo ina. Why is it that you're doing that to us? Kama ni kwako mheshimiwa Ruto wewe ungekubali hiyo ifanyike? We cannot allow that. We cannot allow you to bring down churches. We cannot allow you We cannot allow that. I want to tell his excellence, you are talking about bottoms up. You talked about taking care of these people who are down here. What is happening now that the same people are the how what the same same people ndio unawaumiza? Why are you doing that? Mimi niliongea na wewe leo asubuhi na ukaniambia vizuri utaangalia. Tukiendelea kuongea hivi watu wetu wamefukuzwa makanisa tano yameangushwa. Shule tatu zimeangushwa. El Nino ndio hiyo. Mtiani ndio hiyo. You start about taking care of these people who are down here. What is happening now that the same people are the how what the same same people ndio unawaumiza. Why are you doing that? Mimi niliongea na wewe leo asubuhi na ukaniambia vizuri utaangalia. Tukiendelea kuongea hivi watu wetu wamefukuzwa makanisa tano yameangushwa shule tatu zimeangushwa el nino ndio hiyo mmtiani ndio hiyo inakuja why is it that you are doing that to us na nyenge ndo nena kaka ni kwa ni wizi kila kiki kike kama ni kwa kwa mheshimiwa Ruto wewe ungekubali hiyo ifanyike ndio ndo mwe ai ekanisa ekanisa mwiba na ni mwezi ni mtu wa Mungu bas moyo mwenye mambo akama ndio 
We cannot allow that. We cannot allow you to bring down churches. We cannot allow you. We cannot allow that. So mtazamaji huyo ni gavana wa kaunti ya Machakos Madam Wafinya Ndeti ambaye umemmsikia akiongea kwa hasira zaidi akisema kwamba wale asla za mbao walikuwa wamepigia wale Muruto na wale asla za mbao wale Muruto walikuwa nasema kwamba hawatakuwa mstari wa mbele kusaidika na serikali yake kwa sababu ni serikali ya asla sasa hivi ndio wanasava kwa sababu sawa ndio wanabomolewa nyumba wao ndio wanafanywa mambo mabaya aa, kabisa nataka kwanza tukusikilize kuna jamaa ambaye alienda live jana usiku aa, akiwa pale mafoko akionyeshana shule ya mambo mabaya yalikuwa yanafanyika pale uh, mafoko jana usiku nataka kwanza tumsikilize vile alizungumza kuhusiana na pale vile walikuwa wanafanya maofu wanafanyia asla salafu tuendelee Sunset Boutique Hotel Sunset Boutique Hotel wenye mnajua penye SGR ya the river will stop the land behind it that's where i am So tap tap the screen share the live and screen record put it out there Put it on Twitter guys let's go this government we don't fight with cops cops are not on our side we fight for ourselves sisi wenyewe ndio tunajisimamia sisi wenyewe ndio tunajisimamia they flattened a church over there for fam family family grace something mulikuwa mmeiona it's been flattened and you tell me that Ruto is a god fearing man he's a liar ni muongo he's a liar how can you flatten a whole church down uko uko unasema tu you are a god fear you are a liar you are a despot and a liar huyo ni muongo amekuja kutumaliza taxes ziko juu everything is up fuel prices hata tuliacha ku complain kila kitu iko juu we can't even say anything about it and anyone who tries to do to say anything about it they bribe them and buy them i cannot be bought Munanitaka government ndio hii government sasa imeniguza government imeniweka kidole kwa mapua I'm about to lose my parents home tomorrow my mom who is frail kidney failure we built this home for her so that we can be close to healthcare hapa Nairobi tukamtoa mshago sasa kwa hapa kesho analala wapi ndio atalala kwangu how many other people's homes mean so much for them and they are about to be flattened by people who don't even care they don't have a conscience they don't have a heart because of a mouth that doesn't know about the people or the pain of the people that voted for him bottom up bottom up nikusema nini that meant you wanted to finish us ulikuwa kutumaliza unanyanyasa mwananchi wa chini portland cement nikulize kiongozi with all due respect simiti ni uhai ndio ile uko Wakisha jenga hizo vitu wanataka kujenga tutakula ama tupumue hiyo simiti why would you demolish people's homes in a half you're not even halfway through you're, you're not even halfway through your speech and already bulldozers are flattening people's properties don't tell me you care about the common wananchi you're a liar wewe ni mnyanyasi umekuja kutunyanyasa wewe ni muongo This country has been going down. Your graces have been going down. They've been going downhill. How jali? How jali? Nitafteni kwenye niko. I have nothing to lose right now. If my parents don't have a home to sleep in tomorrow, I don't care about this government. I don't care about this president. Come and find me where I am. Kujeni. Come and find me. Kuja unifinye. Na nikipotea ni wewe ulinipoteza. Yes. Kenyans we have to stand up for ourselves. Hakuna mtu anatutetea. The system is against us. And he is woven himself into everything. Hapa tulikuwa tumejaza watu karibu elfu moja. Wakiongea vile kesho tutaanza kunini mawe huku kwa barabara. Watu karibu elfu moja talking about what we are going to do tomorrow to save our homes. He doesn't care. Take saying he's going to take 1500 acres of land. Umeangalia kama kuna uhai hapo ndani. Are we birds to you? Are we animals to you? Sisi ni punda milia. Are we wildebeest? The life of the common mwananchi. Life is precious. 
You cannot wipe up people's homes and demolish them in the name of cement. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's either you're a greedy person or the devil lives in you. Nakama ulkuona advice you have buyer. You need to put those people to task. You are about to take people out of their homes for nothing, for cement. Portland cement ni kusema nini? Ni kusema nini? Una demolish nyumba za watu. Tunakulanga simiti. Tunapumwanga simiti. Then they demolish this place and the next thing you know for the, ten, the next 10 years there's nothing that is going to be built here. Yes, Adriva Kitengela. That's what they do. You can't tell me you care about the common wananchi. Hasla was not even your agenda at all. Government, how can your mouth, before you're even done with your speech, before you're done with your speech, bulldozers are flattening people's homes. Na unataka kutu tax tiju tupatia nini housing levy. Ya nini? Unataka kutu kubomoa zenye tumejenga na jasho yetu. Ndiyo tuende uende tuweke kwa hizo vibiriti zenye unataka kutujengea. Tukame tukange kama tumepanda juni. We have been planted on top of each other like match boxes in a shop. Housing levy for what? If you can do away with my sweat in a half with bulldozers and no one will listen to me. Ata your housing levy and denial. No compensation, no notice. Inaenda tu hivyo. Never gave us a notice. They didn't. Awaku tupatia. Mwenye alituzia. I'm I'm Rudia Yojina. Siipendi. That's why I'm not getting it. I'm Ima Lukenya. I'm Ima. I'm Ima Kenya. I'm Ima Lukenya. I'm Ima Lukenya. And the chairman is Julius Mutua. Julius Mutua. Ulukuo nauzia wana inchi hii inchi. Um, hii hii land. Ukijuanga inakujua na serekali. If we lose our homes, the back stops with you, Julius. How did you know? So mtazamaji hao ni Hasla sasa wanalia file umesikio jamaa file analia na watu wengine wengi ambao wanaendelea kulia uh, ni wale Hasla sasa wale ambao walikuwa mstari wa mbele kumpigia William Ruto lakini uh, si walaumu wao Hasla kwa sababu William Ruto alikuwa na mdomo tamu sana ambao alikuwa amewaongelesha wa, 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 mpaka wakamtamani ama mpaka wakakubali kwamba anaweza akafanya akabadilisha Kenya akawaambia kwamba tutataka tutoe Kenya kwa mahali ambapo matajiri walikuwa wameiweka Matajiri sasa ni kina Uhuru Kenyatta na Raila Odinga tuwetengeneze serikali ya Haslas. Sasa serikali ya Haslas ndio inaendelea kuwaramba wa Kenya vile ambavyo unaona inawaramba. Mafuta inaongezeka, wanabomolewa manyumba, kila kitu kibaya kinafanyika na ni Haslas wanaumia zaidi. Wale mama mboga, watu wa boda boda, nadhani kwamba ndio sasa hivi ndio wanaumia zaidi hata kuliko wale matajiri sasa. Wale ambao walikuwa wanadanganywa kwamba hii serikali ni yao ndio wanaumia zaidi. Hebu tuachie maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section kwa sababu mambo ambayo yamefanyika ama foko mtazamaji sijui kama yamekupendeza ama unachukuliaje ama unamunga mkono William Ruto kufanya hivyo ama una maoni gani. Tuachie maoni yako hapo chini katika sehemu ya comment section lakini cha msingi usisahau kusubscribe hapa kwa habari zaidi. Mimi najulikana kama Jaitan in Jaitan Daily Politics. Njunge nasi kwa kusubscribe na kutano na notification. Tutaendelea kufuatilia hiyo story na kuletea hapa hapa Jaitan Daily Politics. Kwa sasa bye bye.